Hello everyone, welcome back to the DeerCast. Uh, as usual, driving on a track, not uh, main road, so uh, don't panic. Um, joining us, um, it's, a, it's an evening, uh, well, early evening, and we're heading back to the same bit of restock uh, we were at in one of the previous films where we managed to get a couple of Munjack. Uh, the reason being is that when I turned up last time, uh, literally the minute I turned up there were fallow already out there and I just couldn't get into position without uh, bumping and spooking them unfortunately and so we ended up with a, a brace of muntjac but uh, couldn't get any fallow and it's it's really the fallow we're after in that area because they're the ones nibbling the um, the trees as they start to come out the tubes so come here about an hour earlier um, than I was back here la than I was here last time hopefully in the um, uh, it'll mean that I can get into the high seat and into position before those fallow start to come out um, it's it's August. Um, it's about sort of 5:15 in the evening. Uh, so last time I was here about sort of 6:30, well 6:15, 6:30. So uh, about an hour earlier than last time. So hopefully we can just creep into that high seat and um, be there ready and waiting for the fallow to come out. Anyway, hope you enjoy the film and uh, we'll hope to see you soon. So this is us up in the high seat uh, with a nice view over this bit uh, of woodland planting here. Uh, you can see why we're anxious to control uh, the deer across here. So you're joining us stalking into a fallow cricket uh, who's down in the bottom of this valley. Um, we abandoned the, the high seat and um, you can probably tell why. Uh, you can hear in the background uh, that music is actually from a nearby wedding which was closer to that bit of uh, planting and so I think that had just disturbed the deer quite a lot and um, encouraged them not to come out. Uh, you can't quite make out the, um, the fallow cricket, but he's just down in the bottom of this uh, valley, sort of a little bit to the left of the telegraph pole. So there I make a complete rookie error and fire in an empty chamber. So, just to fill you all in on what what's been going on since we arrived at the high seat. Um, we arrived at the high seat, you can probably actually hear in the background, uh, there's someone having a wedding nearby, it's causing quite a lot of noise, and where we were with a bit of restock, it was closer, so it was making quite a lot of noise, and I just didn't think the chances of anything coming out were that high, so we relocated to another part of the um, part of the farm. Um, I haven't actually seen a huge amount around this evening, to tell you the truth, uh, and then saw um, uh, one pricket and a doe off in an old game cover, um, and I was sort of lining up for a shot on the pricket at sort of about 200 metres um, and then spotted another pricket in the bottom of um, the valley we were in. Um, so I managed to get within sort of 175 metres of him, um, fairly unaware, really annoying. He kept sort of traversing along the bottom of the valley and kept sort of disappearing out of sight. So we kept having to relocate slightly further forward or, or move round so we could get a shot up the, um, up the valley, just taking him off sticks um, with 130 grain fox bullets. Um, and uh, he's dropped on the spot, so um, camera might just be able to pick him up, but he's just down in there. So we're just going to go down and, um, and have a look. So here is our fallow pricket. Um, didn't have a lot of choice in terms of where to place the shot. Um, so entrance is, is in the um, near side shoulder, so that would have smashed that up pretty good. Um, and I think he was um, quartering, well he was quartering, so I expect bullet has come out. Um, just into the back of the lungs there. Um, decent sort of looking pricket, in fairness. Um, as I said, we're just under a bit of pressure to, um, oh well, as with everywhere really, um, to reduce fallow numbers. So, um, unfortunately, prime ones take. Um, dog's happy. Let's get him back to the larder.